Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wall ADM. Today we're going to take a look at a puzzle very similar to one that I recently released called the Eyes of the Beholder, but this time our adventuring party is in a courtyard, maybe an open, open roof, open air courtyard of a castle or something like that, and they find four pillars, and in the center of, this, of these four pillars is an obelisk. And almost the same scenario, this obelisk has 10 holes in it, or eye sockets, and the players need to decide what color of eyes and how many are needed to fill the obelisk and solve the puzzle. So today, we're going to look at the eyes of the obelisk. So just a reminder before we get started that this is kind of a part B to the puzzle that I released a few weeks ago. So be sure to let me know in the comments of either puzzle which one you like better or if you like them both the same, that'd be cool too. So let's get on with the puzzle. So our adventuring party has entered here through this door and they are now outside in a courtyard probably of a very nice castle. And what we have here are four stone pillars and they surround this obelisk. And what the adventuring party here is trying to find is they're trying to find a dimension door or a portal to go on to the next step of their quest or what have you, to find an item or a lost person or travel to another world, whatever you as a DM has decided. So in this courtyard, we have four stone pillars and in the middle of these four stone pillars is an obelisk. Also out in this courtyard, we have three statues. This statue over here is the statue of an elven woman riding a horse. This statue here is of a gnome holding a sewing needle. And this statue over here is of a pirate with a eye patch. Now, as the adventuring party begins to explore this area, if they check out the four pillars, the characters are going to notice that inside of these pillars on each one of them is like a little conclave, a little area there that is dug out inside of the pillar and it is full of like an optic fluid and it is full of eyeballs. So there's like eyes all inside each of these pillars right here on the inside corner here and full of optic fluid. Now each pillar has a different color of eyes. So this one has blue, this one has green, this one has red, and this one has brown. Now if the players have their characters investigate the obelisk, they're going to see that this obelisk has 10 different holes in it. And these holes almost look like eye sockets, like eye sockets in a skull. And they're going to be spread out amongst each of the four sides of this obelisk. And what's even more disturbing is floating above this obelisk is a giant eyeball. A giant yellow eye, thank Lord of the Rings, is floating above this obelisk. And no matter where the characters are, it always seems like this giant eye is staring at him. And what this eye is doing is it's projecting an anti-magic field. So in order to solve this puzzle, the characters are going to need to take the eyeballs out of each pillar and insert them into the 10 eye sockets of the obelisk. However, if they do not get the right amount of each color, then something bad is going to happen. And we'll go over some of the misfortunes here in just a little bit. But let's look around the rest of the courtyard first. So we have three statues over here. This first one is of an elven woman riding a horse. Now this is a stone statue with one exception. The harness, bridle, and reins of the horse are a royal blue. And they're kind of like a cloth. So if the, if the characters wanted to take them off and remove them, they could probably finagle it to make that happen. But it looks like that the bridal harness and the reins that are royal blue were added 
to the statue at a later time. So for the purpose of this puzzle, I'm gonna mark this with a blue figure. Now this character over here is a gnome and he is holding a sewing needle. Now, if one of the characters were to investigate this gnome statue, they would see that slightly off to the right, but still on the base of the statue, looks like a little holder, so to speak, where maybe a spool of thread could go. So this statue is actually incomplete, and the players or the characters are going to need to find a spool of thread that goes next to this one. And then finally, on this statue over here, we have a pirate. And this pirate has a patch over one eye. It also has right here on the shoulder, it looks like some grooves where maybe another attachment of the statue would go. So it looks like there's something missing on this statue. So in order to solve this puzzle, the players are gonna need to find two things. And you as a DM can put those wherever you want. If you wanna put them in a treasure chest that's sitting right there and they can open it up and get them out of here, then that's great. If you wanna have them venture off in one of the directions and maybe find the items later, that's fine as well. But what they're gonna to need to find for the gnome statue is a spool of thread. And that spool of thread is going to have red thread wrapped around it. So if they attach this red thread spool to this statue, we'll now mark this statue as stone with red thread on it. And for the pirate statue, wherever they go, maybe in the treasure chest or wherever you want to put it, maybe they found, maybe it was given to them as a gift in town before they even started. But they're going to find a wooden parrot or you can make it a stone parrot, up to you. And this parrot attaches to this pirate, and this parrot is green. So this entire statue is a stone statue of a pirate with an eye patch, and they can attach this parrot to it, and the parrot is green. So, we now have all of the clues to solve the puzzle. We have an obelisk that has 10 eye sockets that are empty. We have four stone pillars. Each pillar is filled with a different color of eyeballs. And the characters can take the eyeballs out with the goo and all, and they can put and fill the obelisk with eyes from any of the pillars. So they need to take 10 eyes and fill the obelisk. But what color and how many? We have a statue of an elven woman riding a horse and with a blue bridle and bit, a statue of a gnome holding a sewing needle with a spool of red thread, and a statue of a pirate with an eye patch and a parrot on the shoulder. With the information given, can you solve the puzzle? I'll give you a minute if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great, let's go over the answer. Okay, so the colors of the eyes are dictated by the three statues, and that is why I have colored them in blue, red, and green for you. Now, if you remember, we have an elven woman riding a horse. The elven woman will have two eyes, the horse will have two eyes. That is four, so we're gonna need four blue. So the characters will take four blue eyes and put them into the obelisk. The statue of the gnome, the gnome has two eyes. He is holding a sewing needle and the end of a sewing needle is called the eye. That is what the thread goes through. So that's a total of three eyes and the red thread gives you the color. So three red eyes will go into the obelisk. And finally, the pirate has one eye because he has a patch over the other one, but we attach the parrot to his shoulder and the parrot has two eyes, so that's a total of three green. So the characters are gonna to have to put three green eyes into the obelisk. Once they put the 10 eyes into the obelisk, the obelisk will melt down, revealing a pool or a portal, and the characters can jump through
the portal and be teleported to a different place where they can continue their quest. One last thing before we go, we had brown eyes and the brown eyes were a total of zero. They were just a red herring to give the characters a selection between four and they don't actually use the brown eyes to put into the obelisk. So that's how you solve the puzzle. The players need to put four blue, three green, and three red eyes into the obelisk and that will open the portal. Of course, the brown eyes, like the puzzle before it a couple weeks ago, is just a red herring. The players are not actually going to use the, any of the brown eyes that are found in the column. So what happens if the players make a mistake and they put the wrong color of eyes into the obelisk or too many of a certain color? Well, as soon as they make that error, I would have the eyes kind of just disintegrate or melt out of the obelisk, kind of emptying all 10 of the eye sockets. And then that big yellow glowing eye that's above the obelisk comes to life and it kind of just showers the entire courtyard with, a, with an aura or a glow. And some of the things that I have thought of were maybe the entire party is put to sleep with no saving throw and a random encounter ensues. Maybe one of them are turned to stone, allowing for a saving throw. Maybe a random magic item on one of the characters becomes non-magical. A curse of bad luck ensues, which uh, happens to give them disadvantage on all saves, attacks, and ability checks until the curse is removed. Maybe there's an optic acid explosion where the entire courtyard is just covered with this eyeball gooey optic nastiness and it drenches the PCs and they take damage. Uh, maybe one randomly determined character is sucked into the ethereal plane until the puzzle is solved. It's kind of a banishment type of effect. Maybe one of the players or all of them allowing for a saving throw are infected with some type of an eye disease that causes blindness. And then my final idea that I had was maybe one character permanently loses an eye or it's sucked out and added to the pillar of eyes. Now, of course, after a failure, the obelisk resets by the eyeballs either disintegrating or evaporating out of the eye sockets and they still have those 10 eye sockets to fill. Maybe at that time we can give our players a little bit of a hint, but there are plenty of eyeballs and endless supply in the pillars for them to take out and put into the obelisk. So that was the Eyes of the Obelisk. And I'm taking for granted that you've already watched the Eyes of the Beholder. And the Obelisk version was kind of a part B. It was a secondary idea that I had, but I didn't want it to go to waste and never be seen. So I created both versions as a part A, part B. And I would be very interested in the comments below, hopefully you've watched both videos by now, into which version you like better, or if you think they're both equal, or if you can make like a combination of the two. So hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd also like to see you share it with your friends and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Don't forget to check out our Discord channel. I'll put a link below. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the puzzle video. We'll see you in a few more weeks and on to the next.